super fun adventure today. We are heading off to Bainbridge Island here in uh, Seattle. To so cross the way, we have to take a ferry there, so we're gonna go catch the ferry and see what there's to see. We're running late. The ferry leaves at like 10.25 or 10.35 or something. Where is Daddy? Oh, there he is. So we might not make it on this ferry. We might have to wait another hour for the next one, but I don't know, let's see. Oh my gosh. Is it? We didn't miss it? Nope, we made it. Yes. Barely. We made it, guys. So we got this whole family adventure thing totally worked out. Under six is free, everybody. Will you hold these? Quarter. What? We really are going on a ferry. No, we're riding we're on a ferry. We're not. Yeah, we are. Yeah. It's a ferry. We're riding on a ferry. It's like a stroller. It actually is. Quarter. The boat is actually called a ferry. Oh. It's not like an, a magical ferry. It's yeah, not a boat ferry. Thank you. Our first stop today is at lunch. We're all hungry. We stopped kind of at the first place that looked good. Isla Bonita. We'll tell you how it is. We had to be a little uh, creative with the high Mama. chair and baby bow. Mama, did it look in that eating? He's not gonna eat. He already ate, huh? <laughs> yeah. Lunch was good, and now we're going to walk. So here's the parenting dilemma. When you're traveling with kids and you come to beautiful places like this where there's a million awesome, fun things to see and cool things to do, but they're not technically like kid things, what's the point of doing kid things like coming to a playground and letting them play versus like having them do the trails and the hikes and all the things like that? Like where's the line of what you do with your kids when you're traveling? So we're taking a break here, playing at a playground, getting their wiggles out and then maybe they'll fall asleep in the stroller. Bo's already asleep. Pick it up if you like, it's heavy. Do you know what a mammoth is for this? That fell out That's of the cool. cliff wow. on the side of the That's island. Cool. That's amazing, that, they found that here, Porter. There used to be mammoths on this island. Yeah, it did indeed. Lights up. I can't understand what she's saying. Yeah, listen to it. <laughs> You're being such a good boy, Bo. Yes, you are such a good boy. So we're mixing in a little bit of the kid stuff and adult stuff. This is the Historical Museum on Bainbridge Island. It's pretty fun though. Porter, Porter actually Porter. really likes museums. Did you see all the, all the orcas, the killer whales? Uh-huh. Those are cool, huh? 
Do they live here? They live around here. Hey. Maybe we'll see some. Done at the uh, Brain Bridge, Brain Bain Bridge, <laughs> Bain Bridge Historical Museum. It was really interesting, and actually the kids liked it. So maybe if you are traveling with kids, it's just frustrating because you can you can go to a park anywhere. Like I don't want to spend a bunch of money to get the kids out here and then play at a park. But I feel like if you have a good balance, right, between playing at the park, letting them get their wiggles out, and then walking around a museum, we try to make best of both worlds when we're out with the kids, especially on fun days like this. It's kind of starting to rain a little bit. What was your favorite part about that museum? Hmm, pressing buttons. Pressing buttons? They have lots of buttons to press? Yeah, not like, not really a lot. About There's a couple. Seattle. Couple. Yeah. What do you like about being in Seattle so far? Living in my house. Living in your house? Some yeah, you like our friends, huh? <laughs> One thing we like to do when we're in new places is to take a walk or a drive down like the residential areas just to kind of see how people actually live here instead of just like being in the touristy parts the whole time. So we kind of found this road that has some really cute homes. We also thought it would be fun to have some Pokemon hunting time while we're on the island. So that's what they're doing. <laughs> a Spinarak, a Cyndaquil, a Vulpix. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good job, Porter. <laughs> Every time you catch one, he goes, yeah, yes. I just want ice cream. Thank <laughs> you. 